Hello and welcome back to another episode on Unbox Tech Bytes. Today we're going to be unboxing the ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme Motherboard by Asus. This is Asus's flagship motherboard for the X670 chipset and a beast it is, so let's dive right in. Before we even open the box, this feels like a premium product. The corners of the box are really, really sturdy, and as we open this up, I do love this little connector between the main box and the lid. As we take away the plastic cover, we can see our lovely shiny new motherboard. And as I mentioned, this is a beast. As I lift this out of here, this is really quite chunky. Um, it's hard to put into words the weight of this motherboard. We'll pop this aside for the moment and we'll take a look at the sections below. Now behind door number one, we have our manual and warranty booklets. And under that, a variety of RGB splitters, connectors, SATA cables, more SATA cables, thermal sensors and some thermal pads for M.2 drives and also uh, looks like a little velcro strap as well. Let's pop that back and behind door number two we have a variety of standoffs, M.2 screws, some more thermal pads, a metal rog sticker, a graphics card holder which will help reduce the sag if you are mounting that horizontally and also the rog true voltition. Now door number three, that contains our Wi-Fi antennas and under door number four we have uh, two parts in here. First we've got our Gen Z card. Uh, now this will allow a Gen 5 M.2 SSD on one side and a Gen 4 on the other. We'll pop that back and next to that we then have the Asus branded screwdriver and also USB stick. We have our lighting and fan controller. This will allow for three inputs on one side and another three on the other side. Now as we lift this part out we are then left with our PCIe 5 uh, M.2 card holder. Now this will hold I believe up to another three drives and that will provide I believe up to seven in total for the whole motherboard. So let's pop this all back in and now we can take a look at the board itself. We start off with the new AM5 socket and that supports the latest Ryzen 9 CPUs. And next to that we have our four DIMM slots allowing up to 128GB of DDR5 memory. Next to that we have, as I just touched on previously, with the Gen Z.2 card holder. This is the Gen Z.2 slot and that sits just next to the DIMM channels for the RAM. Further down the board we then have our two PCIe 5 slots with 16 lanes and then the PCI 4 uh, with one lane below that. Hidden beneath the heatsink there we have our two onboard M.2 SSD slots. We have our 20 plus 2 power stages, dual Procool power connectors, some chunky heat sinks and for some personalisation we've got two customisable screens and a third LED panel of the heat sinks. Now we'll move on to the rear I.O and this is a wet dream for anyone who loves wired connections. Uh, we've got 9 USB 2.2 Gen 2 ports, 2 USB 4.0 Type-C ports which can support up to 40 gigabytes data transfer rates. We've got 1 USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2 Type-C connectors. We've got our Wi-Fi 6E inputs there for our antennas and we've also got 2.5 and 10 GBE internet. The standard audio inputs will also get you up to 7.1 surround sound. Now around the outskirts of the board we've got our various headers fan control, water pump control, lighting headers, and internal USB headers, SATA connectors, to name all but a few. So that's pretty much it for this video, but I'm really looking forward to this build, so I will keep you posted with the various build videos and unboxings for the various other products that are going to be taking place on this channel. I've already done the unboxing of the Asus ROG Strix 4080 graphics card, uh, which you can see above here. But I'd really appreciate it if you could take just a moment to subscribe to this channel. It makes a world of difference to online content creators such as myself. So stay safe and keep your eyes out for more videos coming in the near future.